what's more important, our taste buds or the life of an animal? That's a good question. Yeah, do you want to hit that That's one? That's a Woo! good question. He just hit me in the face with that <laughs> Do you think that you know all um, people should be granted the same kind of basic right to live their life without, say, fear or pain or oppression or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's of simple, course. isn't it? Right. Yeah, it's, should everyone be granted the right to kind of live their life without, you say, pain or oppression or injustice, something like that? Of course. I feel like everyone has the right to, you know, live freely. Uh, we're all the same on the inside. We all nearly get along and right, stuff like right, that. Right. Okay. We're all alive, right? And we all yeah. feel and think and want to live, right? I mean, yeah, it's so thing. so fundamentally simple. What about, say, like dogs and cats and animals that we love in our home? Should they be allowed to live without, without pain? Yeah, like yeah. what you mean? You saying like they, what, what should they do? Like they just live their life, you know, without us hurting them, you know? Yeah, of course, of course. Oh yeah, I feel yeah. like most of the money that the government makes off like marijuana should go into like housing pets, you oh, know? There's nice. so much money going on that's just going into the government just to sit on like, you know. You sound like an animal Old lover. people, I, lo I love animals, animal you know? Okay. Yeah. Same thing, it's, it's like the animal kingdom. Yeah. They, they was uh, created on Earth just like us too. Sure, sure. So we're, like I said, we're all the same. All the same. Well, would you agree with your friends? Yeah, I agree with my brothers. <laughs> yeah, no. he's just agreeing because he doesn't have an answer. <laughs> I don't have an answer. It was a I good answer. answer. I'll respect. say this though: I feel like humans do are more like worthy or not worthy. I don't know what the right word to say, yeah, yeah. but like I would consider a human's life more precious than a, a dog's Superior, life. Right? Uh, because in some points of view, like we can, there's a lot of things that animals they get themselves into that they don't know what the outcome is really going to be. Right, right, right. You know, understanding like the general thing yeah you know we can help them out in a better way but of course like you know if an animal wants to be free and that's the way they are yeah. they should do should not hold that back yeah. but uh do you think all animals want to be free <laughs> all animals want to be free in a general sense yeah because yeah. even when they're with their owners and you tell yeah. them what to do they do all that they stuff know. when they, they have know, their they free they time know. and their they're fun time that is their best time they enjoy right. that the most let's expand now let's go let's go bigger so we've bigger, done right. we've done humans we've done pets now let's say what about like you mentioned Animal Kingdom. Let's go broad. Let's go. What about the animals that we generically would kill? Let's go pigs and cows and chickens and sheep and fish. Do they deserve the same rights to, to life like the dogs and cats? Indeed, we are. But and that's uh, we also have the circle of life, just yep. like in the Animal Kingdom. A lion would eat a deer or any any, any yep. other animal because it's a circle of life. So I think if you're eating it for survival, then you know. Oh, do you think that we eat animals for survival? A little bit of no and yes, because we ha we have to eat, yep. but sometimes we do abuse animals for. I guess the question is, do we have to eat animals? No, it's a choice. What about the animals like pigs and cows and chickens and sheep? Should they be given the same rights as well? <sighs> yeah, I think so too. I think especially the animals that are headed towards the slaughterhouse, at right. least give them some, treat them with some humanity, I guess. Yep. You know, they're still animals. They still have feelings. Yeah. Even if they're headed to a slaughterhouse or the farm, they're still animals, they're still creatures, they still have feelings just like we do. And uh, what right then do we think that we have to take their life from them, if like us, or they feel and think? I just feel like humans feel like they're superior against yeah. anybody. Do you think we're superior? Mm, against some species, yes, but yeah. uh, what you species know, are they? most species, yes, we are superior, okay. but on most, no. But I feel like we may be superior, but when all ways yeah. we're all equal and right. we're all living we're all right just trying to swim along well, what species are we more superior than <sighs> hard question i feel like ants or something ants <laughs> flies okay what about chickens and cows and pigs are we more superior um than they are? i feel like some people think we are just because we eat them and right. they don't necessarily eat us <laughs> <laughs> so do you eat them um yes <laughs> <laughs> and what justification do you do you use to eat them <sighs> Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, not a, it's, not, it's a hard question, but it's not a trick question. There's no wrong answer. Honestly, if I could avoid eating it, I will, but it's just too good. Okay, uh, so it's like a taste thing? Yeah, I guess yeah. sometimes I can avoid it and sometimes I can't. I guess it just depends on my feeling. Any? <laughs> I mean, I do, I, I do eat beef. So in a, in a general, in a general sense, they could, they could, uh, you know, they contribute a lot to to human beings and, and yeah. how we've been doing for a long time. But yeah, like, I mean, the cruelty that they do towards them, like yeah. that stuff is completely out of pocket and right, should, right, they right. should not, stuff, sorry, stuff they should not be doing. Yeah. Um, but yeah. if we treat them in a good sense, then. Yeah. Do you, do you want to define cruelty? What, what, what would animal cruelty look like? 
I mean, you everybody has Anything access on. to the internet, man. I mean, <laughs> right, you, right. you you go ahead and and, uh, and in a way search any any bit of that, and and, and and yeah, you'll be able to see what goes on. If we had a pig right here. I don't think we would kill it, cause okay. But I mean, if we see like a package bacon, then we would choose. So to we're eat disconnected, it. right? Would you kill that pig yourself if there was a pig in front of you? No, sir. But no. but, but the same eat? thing. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Right, I, right. I don't know where you're yeah, going. Right, 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 right. But yes. So I and guess that's kind of hypocritical. Yes. Oh man, this is this is the point, right? And I guess the, the question is, if we couldn't kill the animal ourselves, what right do we have to pay someone else to do it on our behalf? Exactly, and that's what exactly what we're doing. We're paying somebody else right. to kill that animal right. while we just eat them. And how do we morally justify that? <laughs> I don't think you can. How, how do you justify? I'm over here answering all the questions. <laughs> I mean. I don't think you can just okay. Like that. I just think at the end of the day, the humans are the top predator. So yeah, right. Do you think just because we can do something, we're justified exactly. to do it? Yeah. No, just no. Yeah. So, so you think that? Would you, but would you say that might makes right? Say it again. Would you say that might makes right? No. So it, just because we have the power to inflict pain onto someone doesn't necessarily mean that we we're not supposed to. to. Pain is not. I'm not doing it to inflict pain. I'm doing it because. I want to eat that pig. I'm going to okay. kill it because I want to eat it. You know what I'm saying? It's not right uh -huh. because, like you say, animals, I, I, I think that animals do talk in their own language. They yep. understand each other. They do want to live. But at the end of the day, humans, we control it. We want it. We take it. That's it. You know, so. Do you think that's moral? No. Okay. So how do we morally justify it then? <laughs> I couldn't answer that for you. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what's more important, do you think? Uh, taste their life. or life? Their uh -huh. life. So you knew their what I was going to say then, right? Yep, their okay. life is more important to me. So when you eat them, would you say that you're going against your own morals? Yeah, you know, I feel like I put myself in that position. Like, would I like to be eaten by some shrimps <laughs> as their dinner, you <laughs> right. know? What if it was the other way around and yep. it was a chicken eating you? Or like your kids, since you eat their little eggs. Yeah, right, exactly. You know? we, eat their, we eat their milk and their yeah, eggs. Yeah, right. exactly, exactly. Is that moral? <laughs> Um, I don't think so. I don't think. I don't know. I've seen a lot of controversy that humans yeah. don't eat or shouldn't eat meat. Right, that we're right. put on here to eat like herbs and stuff. Right, right, right. Uh, I don't know. There's just this huge thing. I'm like, do you eat animals or do you not eat animals? Uh, what, what's your thinking about it? Because you seem quite open-minded. I am open-minded, honestly. Um, I just feel like it's your choice. If you want to eat animals, yeah. you do it. But do it in the most humane way as possible instead of just torture that. What poor animal and then kill it and great. eat it, you know? Yeah, what would be a humane way of killing them, do you think? Ooh. The qu hard question. Yeah, that is a hard question. <laughs> um, I don't know how to say this, like, yeah. in a nice way, but I think <laughs> you should just get get it in for it. Like, make it as less painful as possible, but, like, fast. So if, if we were to kill, like, a dog or a cat in that way, would that be moral? Honestly... If we kill dogs in the same way as that we killed pigs and chickens and cows, how do you feel? Honestly, I feel like it's the same way. It's the same way. You kill a dog like that, it's the same way. Like a chicken yeah. ripping its head off, I don't know. Like it's the same way. I see it all the same way. Like you, uh, yeah. killing is just killing to me, period. Yeah, no, no matter how you do it, it's still taking a life. I, I, and, uh, I, and is killing too far or, or not? I mean, if you're killing for a purpose, you know, yeah. then I think it's fine. What is it say? It still generally seems. <laughs> When you put the questions like that, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we shouldn't be killing, killing animals, but... I, I, actually, I, I'm really interested in what you said earlier about, about humans being superior to animals, and, and I was wondering, could you maybe explain a little bit more about why you view human life to be, to be worth more? And again, this it, it isn't like a, there's no wrong answers, there's no trick questions or anything yeah. like that. I'm just interested to, to know. Um, I don't know. I don't even want to bring up a race thing, but like here yeah, in yeah. America, like okay, so someone that's innocent don't get gunned down. Yeah. Usually a person of color. Yeah, yeah. I'm nothing really so. happens, and then someone kills a dog, and they have a big ceremony for it. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, actually, that's a really valid point. You're right. Yeah, You're right. Absolutely, and that's wrong, isn't it? The way I see it, right? This is the way I see it. To be, I'm vegan, which you probably have guessed, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah kind of had obvious. A, I had a veggie burger yesterday. Yeah, and so to be vegan, you don't have to place the life of a, a non-human animal equal to a human. You don't, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is, is value their life higher than our taste buds. So the question yeah. I'd, I'd ask you is what's worth more, taste or life? Mm. Life. Life. Uh, I feel like uh, that's a deep question. We gotta, yeah. That goes all the way back to culture, like what we've been taught our whole life. So. What's more important, our taste buds or the life of an animal? That's a good question. Yeah, do you want to hit that That's one? That's a good question. He just hit me in the face with that <laughs> question. Uh, um, and what justification would you say your taste buds? 
because all right, I believe in God. I believe okay. in what the Bible says, and okay. the Bible, you know, states that the animal was put here for me. Right. Okay. For me uh, to uh, eat. Okay. And when was the Bible written? Long time ago. Long time. And do you think? <laughs> and do you think that the, the world that we used to live in when the Bible was was written is that a different world to the one we live in now? Right. So, so the way I see it is that when Jesus was around and when the Bible was being, was being written, it was a completely different world. And, right. and, and I believe that Jesus, when he ate animals, he did so because he had to, because like he didn't have Walmart or you know, Target or whatever it is. Right. But yeah, we've changed so much as a society that we no longer have the necessity that Jesus did. So in my eyes, now correct me if, I, if I'm wrong, but in my eyes, I believe that a benevolent and compassionate God, which we all agree God is, would rather we didn't kill his animals if we didn't have to. Because after all, he gave them the ability to suffer. Why would he give them that ability if if we then want us to inflict suffering onto them. What do you think to that? Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, These wow. questions are more intense. <laughs>